Hello, lovely friend. I am Dr. Mary Barson. And I'm Dr. Lucy Burns. And this is The The Real Real Health and and Weight Loss Podcast. Hello, lovely friend. Dr. Mary here for this episode of Real Health and Weight Loss. I am thrilled to be joined by the wonderful Marie Kirkpatrick. Marie is a member of our beautiful community. She's currently doing our 12-week mind-body rebalance and at the time of recording is up to week 10, so a good two-thirds of the way through. Marie is a fantastic business owner. She's a busy mum to two two gorgeous kids aged two and nine. She runs multiple businesses and she is a a sales strategy genius. And we met actually at a business conference for women. And I was so impressed uh, with her energy and her drive in helping women in business. And we connected and Marie has helped us uh, with our sales and um, helping us with the way that we communicate our message and Marie has joined our 12-week Mind Body Rebalance. And she is a super busy woman who has found that having better energy by healing her metabolism and turning her body into a healthy fat burner has helped her get better energy throughout the day. And she's here today to tell us a bit more about her really a very inspiring story. So thank you so much, Marie. How are you today? I am great today. I'm excited to be here. I love talking about health and well-being and business and all that sort of stuff. And I think they go hand in hand beautifully. Tell us more about how you think health goes hand in hand with business. So What I've realized, well, it's not like it's been a big light bulb moment because my background originally was in the health and fitness industry. And I think with that came a little bit of the diet culture, Mm. you know, like being in a gym environment, dealing with women and weight loss and all that sort of stuff. There's always some form of body image there. And then now changing into the consulting work that I do and running the consulting firm, I've realized that my energy is so important, not just to hold for my clients, but to be able to take the business to the levels that I want to take it to. And there have been times where maybe my eating and my consuming of beverages hasn't been uh, at optimal rate, should I say. But once I've actually clicked in and you're, and the program just makes it so easy, right? Like it's just like it's common knowledge that isn't necessarily that common. <laughs> um, but it's more along the lines of the things that have happened in the past couple of weeks because I have enough energy to keep going. There's no slump at 3 o'clock. There's no sugar cravings that like I need to – fuel to keep going it's such a more balanced type of energy and I'm really enjoying it and the business is seeing growth from that which is cool yes so you're getting more steady energy throughout the day which means that yes it has a flow and effect to other parts of your life absolutely could you tell us a little bit more about you and your health journey and, uh, yeah, you know, what, what brought you to doing the 12 week mind body rebalance program with us and yeah. And, and the changes that you've seen. So, uh, my health journey is an interesting one. I got diagnosed maybe four years ago with fibromyalgia. And the only reason why I was diagnosed with that was after four years of, uh, pain throughout my body for no unknown reason. And I only realized it after uh, the birth of my first son. And I just thought it was a part of the body bouncing back from pregnancy and birth and all that sort of stuff. But then after like 18 months, I remember sitting around with uh, some of the mums from mother's group and I was like, so is your body like back to normal? Like you've got no pain or anything? They're like, oh yeah, no pain. And I was like, oh, So this isn't normal. What I'm going through isn't normal. And so going to my GP and trying to figure out what was going on was huge. 
blood tests, um, scans. I had all the things done over four years to the point where they said to me, uh, we can't really find anything that's going on. Maybe it's a, maybe it's going on in your head type thing. And I was like, no, I know my body. I'm in tune with my body. This isn't normal. And so once kind of I dug in a little bit deeper to that, um, I found that there may have been some issues with mold poisoning, inflammation type stuff that was also potentially going on from where we were living at the time. And when I'd go to specialists, their biggest thing was you need to lose weight. Hmm. And I was like, okay, I'm aware that I need to lose weight. It is on my mind continuously. But how do you exercise and lose weight when your body is constantly in pain? How do you go for a walk when every time you get up in the morning you put your feet on the ground and it feels like someone has attacked you in the middle of the night to that bone pain in your legs? And so that all seemed easy in their mind, but I couldn't figure out a way to do it. It was just really hard. I saw naturopaths, I saw nutritionists, I saw dietitians. I ticked all those boxes and everyone had conflicting information. Um, and so when I was working with um, you and Dr. Lucy on your business and helping you guys communicate better and connect better with your community and the people that need your help, I realised that I am your people. Hmm. And so for me it was like let's give this a red hot crack and what I've noticed is my pain has reduced, my weight has dropped, although we have had a little speed bump in the road where I've ended up with a very sick friend and my go-to has always been emotional eating and drinking. Not ideal. Uh, but what I love about the program is there's hypnose in there and so I kind of unpack that sort of stuff while I sleep. <laughs> so it feels really easy. For me, so that's been um, my health journey kind of summed up. Um, I'm a mum with two kids, so I need energy. Uh, I run a couple of different businesses. It's not just one that we run, and so there's lots of balls in the air. And I want to be able to have that energy. I don't drink coffee. My body doesn't agree with it. Mm. Uh, I could live off coke, but I know coke is horrendous for the body, <laughs> so that wasn't an option. So it was kind of like, let's give this a crack, run by doctors, know their staff, very caring, relationship-based women. So that's how I ended up in your program. And we're so happy to have you. It's been lovely. But, yes, serendipitous, I believe. Hey, you had this experience. You were looking for the answers. You were seeing doctors and naturopaths and this, that, that confusion, that Conflicting advice is is absolutely rampant out there. And perhaps yes. you also had like maybe a kind of a non-validating kind of experience with doctors as well when they were just yeah. telling you, go off, lose weight. It wasn't necessarily from a GP perspective. It was from a specialist perspective as well. Mm. People that you were paying hundreds of dollars to to spend half an hour in their room and their answer was you need to go and lose weight. And I was like, okay, that's, I understand that. I'm really clear on that. I know it's not good to carry extra weight around on your joints and your bones and all that. But how, how do you do that when there's so much mixed messaging out there from a marketing perspective? There's, in my mind, there was that sense of time poor, young family, working, all that sort of stuff. How do I incorporate all of that with the pain and the movement that I needed to do mm. to actually um start exercising and move my body. Mm, so, mm. yeah. So glad you found us. And you found that you've got less pain now and more yeah. energy. That is as you've transitioned to real food, you've noticed those physical improvements with weight loss as well, yes. which is awesome. How hard was it or easy was it for you to make the change to a real food nutrition? So the hardest thing for me was the mindset. Mm. I felt like because in the past it had to be all or nothing where this is a lifestyle choice. Like I wanted to be able to have, because I don't drink coffee and tea doesn't really overly excite me all the time, I used to really like having a hot chocolate and hot chocolates are full of sugar, 
full of all the rubbish. I knew it wasn't good for me. But to be able to reach out and be like, hey, is there any alternative that I can have to a hot chocolate? And to be able to have such an amazing, delicious alternative that I know is better for my body is brilliant. Like it was just this swap out type mentality. And also understanding in those modules and in the um, calls that we had and still have, because we're still going through it, Hmm. is that I do have time to make real food. It takes the same amount of time to pick something up, take away as it does to actually chuck something in the oven or the air fryer or in the pan and it's so much better for my body and helps everything around me. So, yeah, that was really cool. Ah, I love it. Yes. So it, it's, it was kind of simpler than thinking. And the hot chocolate you have, you have a delicious hot chocolate made with like helpful alternate sweeteners like erythritol and stevia and, yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah, I don't even know what's in it, but it's doctor approved, so we're it on it. It is doctor approved, that's right. It's from, it's from our approved product list, that's right. Indeed. Absolutely. Yeah. Could I like to dive a little bit more into mindset now. You said like so many people, you have used food and alcohol as a tool mm. to deal yeah. emotionally. I think this is something that it's it's society wide. It's something that we're taught to do, I reckon, since childhood. But it can be really potentially unhelpful to your health goals. And you, you said that this is something that you that you, yeah, you know, you've you've recently had a really really tricky time, and referred back to using some of those tools again. But sounds like now you're you know, exploring your other tools and using the hypnosis to help you. Tell us a bit more about your your mindset journey too, if you if you could. Yeah, so my mindset, uh, you're absolutely right. It does start from childhood. Anytime something bad happened, anytime you fell over, anytime you felt sad, the way that and it was especially my dad, and I can see like generations, my nana was exactly the same. You fell over, you hurt yourself, something bad happened, here's a jelly bean, here's a biscuit, let's sit down and have a cake. And so it's something that has been programmed in me for so long and it wasn't until recently, well, I've been aware of it for many years, but it wasn't until recently where I've ended up with a very sick friend and everything felt really hard Um, and I've been confronted with life really she's she's extremely sick and I felt helpless I didn't know what to do I didn't know how to soothe those emotions that were coming up for me so I jumped back into the what felt safe and comfortable which was um chips because that the that crunch switches my head off and alcohol or sugar would actually kind of give me that dopamine and endorphin hit that would be like okay Everything's not fixed, but I feel better. And then a couple of days of that, after being on real food, a couple of days of that, I was like, this feels horrible. It is not helping my moods. It's affecting my sleep. I'm more depressed than what I need to be in this space. What can I do differently? And I realized that the food and the alcohol and the sugar would be just squashing those feelings down. They're not dealing with it. It's not helping it's not helping my friend that's extremely sick it's not helping me it's not helping anyone except for the people that are marketing this rubbish to us obviously yeah um and so after a couple of days I said to my husband I don't want to do this anymore I don't want to drink any more alcohol I don't want the chips anymore I don't want the rubbish food I want to be able to work through this mindset stuff in a better space Because I know that whether it is having a sick friend, whether it is stress from work, whether it is intense time with kids at 3.30, 4 o'clock when everything's hitting the fan and nothing's going to plan, that these emotions come up or I feel tired or I feel something's going on for me. And so what uh, the mindset stuff that is in this program has helped me do is go, it's okay to have these feelings and food doesn't fix those feelings. It doesn't change what's coming up. It's not going to um, make it any better. If anything, it makes it worse because I feel rubbish from it. And so the tools and techniques in the program have helped me move through that stuff to the point of I've now been using those same 
techniques and strategies into the business side Mm -hmm. when, you know, business sometimes can be uncomfortable. There can be sometimes a little bit of stress, growing pains happen, all that sort of fun stuff. And so it's been a complete game changer to be able to manage my mindset um, on a bigger scale. And Mm -hmm. even doing a hypno at night, there's no extra time for me. It's not like, okay, I need to block out 15, 20 minutes. It's okay. It's time to go to sleep. Let's listen to Dr. Mary and her hypnos and everything. Like the brain just kind of reprograms. You wake up the next day, you feel better. You don't crave all the rubbish that comes with it. So, um, yeah, I think mindset is a game changer. Yes. Can I just, I like to go on record saying that you're an, that is an absolutely legendary effort that you got such a significant like you just got slapped with such a significant stress with your good friend getting Mm. really sick and needing to deal with all of that and you reverted to some old tools but you only did it for a couple of days like that's that's amazing that's that's hardly even a speed bump it's like you know just a little yeah a little uh, a a little pivot in the road yeah (laughs) well it's because I felt so good up until that being on the real food Right. So Mm. it's like, oh, I feel good. Oh, this is, it was like, wow, this is what energy feels like. (laughs) It was, yeah. And so when I went back to the old habits, I was like, oh man, I don't like this feeling. I don't like this lack of energy. I don't like the brain fog that comes with it. So, uh, yeah, I didn't want to be there any longer than I needed to be. (laughs) Yeah. Good. Good. Yes. Yes. I, I know you are, are you, you're, you're, you're a very lovely, very good person. I know that you have your, you're, you're involved in charities, in women's charities. You're really passionate about uh, helping women be independent, helping women run their businesses, uh, helping women have the lives that they want. I know it's not just women, but I know we were talking about. It's mostly women, yeah. Mostly women, yes. And I can actually see this, this beautiful little uh, plaque behind your head. It says success, family, relationships, health, happiness, wealth. I love it. And, yeah. and for you, being healthier helps you be more impactful. Like it's, it's, it's something that helps you do all the great work that you want to do. Absolutely. Yeah, I think um, you're right. I do do a lot of, uh, I don't really tend to advertise my charity stuff because for me it's not a selling point. I don't Hmm. want people to be like, oh, she's a nice person because she does charity work. For me, it's for my own selfish reasons that I do charity work because it makes me feel amazing. Mm -hmm. And with my friend getting sick, it's made me stop and think, how do I have more impact on women? For me to be able to help more women make more income and impact and be okay no matter what happens financially, if I can show them how to make more money, then they'll be okay. But for me to be able to do that, I need to have the energy. I need to have the brain clarity and all of that to do that. And with my friend getting sick, it's made me really stop in my tracks. And the days that um, I call them blah days. They're those days that I just didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to face the world. I didn't want to go and do school pickup. I didn't want to do daycare pickup. I didn't want to see anyone. I didn't want to put a face on. I didn't want to get dressed. I didn't want any of that. And in those days, I was like, me being like this isn't helping anyone. Okay. I'm allowed to sit in the emotions. I'm not allowed to stay here. And so it's really changed the way that I've looked at my business as well. How can I help more women? How can I make my services more affordable so that no woman has to choose between life, family or finances. Um, And so the plaque behind my head was actually something that hubby and I designed together. It wasn't like a buy off the shelf. Mm. That's really what success means, means for me. Yes, you can be really wealthy in life, but if you don't have your health, you have nothing. And for me, it's also if I have my health and my wealth, but I don't have a happy and healthy family or happy and healthy relationships or people around me, that's not success either. Um, So it's all intertwined beautifully for me. Yes, yes. There is, it's cliched, but there is this saying that, you know, that 
that health is wealth and I, I completely agree with that but we are really holistic beings you know we we need to have we need to have our relationships we need to have our good health we need to have our family we need all of these all of these things and there are like these fundamental uh fundamental linchpins that can hold it all together and and physical health and you know uh, uh, and mindset work and mm-hmm. and having a good mindset that just permeates everything else and you you're a total powerhouse so i love that now that you're getting your body and your your metabolic health and your nicely fat yeah. adapted burning fat you can be even more of a powerhouse <laughs> Do you know what I've also started doing? And I haven't shared this with you or with many people, but you know, this is a safe space, right? Yeah, um, totally. I've actually started to do uh, couch to 5K as one of my goals because I've got more energy, my pain is reduced, and I feel like I'm ready to take that next step from a health and well being space. So that's pretty cool, too. That's super cool. And for mm. those who don't know what Couch to 5K is, it's probably fairly obvious, but it's a, a, a program where it gets you from, they say couch potato, it's a bit of a rude term, um, but gets you training <laughs> to do a 5K run and it can happen faster than you think. Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. So 5K run, excellent. You've told the world now, that's great. I know, but like, I'm only in week, I think I'm in week one or week one and a half. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, it's definitely a progress, but it's also the mindset that comes with that new challenge as well, right? Yes. Um, and that it's safe to push my body and it's safe to, um, to lose weight. I think for me in the past, my weight has also about being seen. And so if when I have lost weight, people are like, oh, you look great, you're losing weight. And then I was like, well, there's that side of do I need to lose weight to look great or did I not look great before? And was I the weight, was the weight for me keeping me safe and playing small in the world? And I think that's probably more to the point for me. Mm. So, yeah, I'm ready to step into that, release the fear of it. Yes. How do you feel? How is your body um, going with being in week two of Couch to 5K program? Oh, look, I've got a little bit of DOMS, delayed onset of muscle Excellent. soreness. Yeah, yep. love That's that. That's a good sore, good sore. It is a good sore. Um, it's a good sore from I know that my body's working and growing. It's not a good sore from like a, everything feels a little bit harder on the days that I am sore. <laughs> um, but I feel like I've got more energy, I'm sleeping better, I'm happier with life, I'm happier with kids, I'm better at managing the stress and the emotional stuff, especially around stuff that's happening with my really good friend and I feel like I'm in a better place to hold space for her in that my tank is filled, my body feels good, I feel good mentally, I can support her rather than be on the ground crying with her. Mm, mm. Ah, wonderful. We've got our seven-day sugar-free reset coming up soon, which is the the week sort of precursor to our 12-week mind-body rebalance. What would you say to people out there who were perhaps thinking about doing our seven-day sugar-free reset or thinking about doing our 12-week mind-body rebalance, given that, you know, you're sort of two-thirds of the way through it right now? Yeah, so I suggest that everyone does it, and I know that that sounds a bit, especially coming from the sales chick, right? Like it's not from a a sales perspective. It's from a feel-good-about-yourself perspective. There's another lady um, that when I joined it, I said to her, let's do this together, and she was like, okay, yep, cool, I'm in as well, Um, and we're both – we're both just feeling so much better, like we are shocked. And the way that we make decisions about our food is really, uh, it's so much easier, like at five o'clock when it's like kids are running around, you've had a busy day at work, your mental load might be quite high, you know what options are there, there's recipe books in there, Reci- re- there are recipe books, but there's recipes that you can go in and be like, I'll go that one today and that one tomorrow and it's all easy. Meals can be done in 10, 15 minutes. Like that for me is ideal. 
It's like you've taken the thinking out of it. It's coming from a space of expertise. It's not fad dieting. It's not someone that has become famous just for being famous. It's coming from two doctors that have had so much experience in this space. And that's why I love working with you guys. There's no, there's no BS around it. There's no fluff. It's just like, this is what's going on with your body. These are the hormones that are kicking in. This is what happens when you eat this. I know there's a lot of talk about the woodshed and, you know, getting into that fat burning phase, fat burning machine that your body wants to be. And that, when you do things, it can kind of potentially close your woodshed. And so well, I don't want to close my woodshed, so I just need to make a different choice. I just need to have a better option out there. So it's been a really easy transition, which I was absolutely surprised with. From a sugar perspective, coming from someone that is an emo- has been, was uh, an emotional eater and loved sugar to kind of keep that energy going, it hasn't been as hard as what I thought it would be. Like if someone said to me, uh, Marie, you need to stop eating any sweet stuff. I would have been like, that's like asking me to run the 42 kilometer marathon while I'm still on the couch, not going to happen. <laughs> um, and so the, the taking out the sugar, my body just feels better, less inflammation, less pain, less cravings, Like the cravings aren't even there. I went to a function um, a couple of weeks ago and it was a two-course meal, sticky date pudding for dessert. I was like, I'll just have a little taste. I taste it was so sicklingly sweet because my palate has changed. So it's like my body doesn't even want it anymore. Mm. It's like, whoa, what's that? That's not good. Let's not eat that. Um, And it's not to say that you can't have treats. That was the other thing. Like the hot chocolate for me is looked upon as not necessarily a treat but a part of like – my morning routine and it's like that little warm hug in the morning for me and it everything's okay if I've had a little hot chocolate. So from that aspect it's been great but it's also finding better treats to have or better desserts to have or, yeah, just having more choice about how my body can feel better. So, yes, if anyone wants to do the program or is on the fence about it, do it. Not only will it save you time, it'll also save you a bucket ton of money because people say that it's so much more expensive to eat healthier, blah, blah, blah. Heard it all before. And three months ago, I probably would have agreed with you. It's cheaper to buy a frozen pizza. It's cheaper to buy this. But the truth is that it's not. It's absolutely not. It does not take you any longer to eat proper food. And it also means that I don't get that slump after I eat as well. So save your time, save your money, increase your energy. It's a no-brainer. And have a whole heap of fun doing it too, right? Yes, yes, it is fun. It is fun. And, and, you know, at the time of recording this, Christmas is coming up. Christmas is going to be fun too. You can have a totally fun Christmas. And even to the point where I'm looking forward to cooking or taking things to family events because I know that I can eat it it's going to taste good everyone will like it and it's from real food it's not just Mm. store-bought rubbish fantastic thank you so much for sharing your story um you're an inspiration and I really really love how you are that that mindset work and you are just dealing with the ups and downs of life while still caring for your body and caring for all the people in your sphere. So, uh, gorgeous one, if people wanted to find out a little bit more about you, where could they find you? So you can find me on Instagram at Marie Kirkpatrick. You can find me on Facebook at Marie Kirkpatrick or you can find me on my website. Well, you won't find me on my website, but you can find my website at mariekirkpatrick.com. Excellent. We'll have the links there um, in our show notes. Thank you, fabulous human, for sharing your story and your the wonderful healthy success that you are experiencing in your body and your mind. I think that you are a legend and you are absolutely smashing it and I'm very excited to see what you will do next. Thank you. Do you know what? I want to say thank you to 
um, yourself and Dr. Lucy for creating uh, a informative program that feels safe. Nothing is off limits to talk about. You have managed to bring in some amazing people into a community where we're all on the same path. We're all supporting each other. And that doesn't tend to happen very often, I found, when it comes to uh, weight loss or health stuff. There can be quite a competitive side of it. But you've created such a supportive, uh, beautiful space with amazing knowledge. Like there's even like I'm tr- on the down low, I'm trying to educate hubby as we go. So I listen to the modules and things while I'm cooking or while I'm unpacking dishwashers or selling out kids and things like that to the point where he's like, oh, what's that? Because it's real information. It all makes sense. And it's down on the level of, yes, you're doctors, but it's down on the level that everyone can understand. And I'm so grateful for that. You have literally, I know it sounds very, um, you know, a bit, what's the word that I'm looking for? Cliche maybe. It's literally changed my life and the way that I do food and emotions and life. So thank you, beautiful lady. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for that. And thank you for your time and your energy today. (laughs) Thanks. The information shared on the Real Health and Weight Loss podcast, including show notes and links, provides general information only. It is not a substitute, nor is it intended to provide individualized medical advice, diagnosis or treatment, nor can it be construed as such. Please consult your doctor for any medical concerns.